All right, Johnny. Would you like to? Uh, would you like, like to get to... into a little misery loves company? Yes, Chad I'd like Zumag. to see. Uh, I'd like to see Chad make an ass of himself. All right, let's talk about Chad. Now, Chad Zumach has had a really unfortunate run the last I don't know fifty years of his life. Yeah, um, he, he's really not been able to celebrate any W's at all. And uh, on misery loves company, I, I, look. If I'm ever at this point, I want someone to tell me, "Look, man, it ain't worth it." Go sell cars. Go do something else. Right. It's not worth this level of humiliation. Mm -hmm. Chad has no home. Uh, Chad has no vehicle. Right. Chad has basically no earthly possessions. The motherfucker can't afford a, a good mic. He can't afford a mic stand. He can't afford good headphones. Like He's just... I, I mean, it's just a, a dire situation it is he's in. But instead of like going and doing something to better himself, he goes, I have an idea. I'll hang out with uh, Kevin and Brennan and uh, Kevin Brennan and Bob Levy while they just shit on me for two hours on, you know, Kevin Brennan's getting smart. He's taking his audience's Patreon money, mm -hmm. but then also going live on YouTube and taking super chat money and double dipping. You know, it's kind of a smart deal. His fans bitch about it, but it's like, if you're going to bitch about it, then don't, then don't watch. Then don't give him the super chat money. Right. Don't be a patron. Don't give him super chat money. But he's smart. Where he, And I wish he would just admit this. Look, man, I can do my show. Bob wanted to do the show four days a week, and they're getting close to that point. Right. Where they're doing the show four days a week. And I think Kevin sees Bob doing all these other shows. He's like, I better, you know, Bob's a talent. I better keep him happy. Well, if, if, uh, Kevin, I wish Kevin would just come out and say, look, you're paying me on Patreon mm -hmm. and you're paying me on YouTube live. Why wouldn't I do both? Why wouldn't I make that kind of money? It's got to be more money than Kevin's ever made doing a podcast. Doing it that way. He does it live, takes it down, puts it up on Patreon. Gets it coming and going both ways. Well, they have Chad on there as like Beetlejuice, as right. a whack packer. They have him on there so they can beat the living dog shit out of Chad. And these guys were kind of the first ones to tell him like, hey, that Steel Toe guy's kind of made you look like a fucking idiot. And like, then you went off and you talked about his kids. Like you're, they would tell him on every episode, Chad's melting down. Like Chad's, Chad's breaking up a bit yeah. about this. Chad's falling apart. He's drinking himself to death. He claims he's not going to drink in 2023, so he was going to be hammered every day of 2022. That doesn't work out. Chad tried to get at us. It didn't work. We kept coming after him. We've been bloody in his nose and beating the shit out of him ever since. He spends his days on that show staring at the chat, watching people make fun of him. Every Super Chat is talking about what a bag of shit, how useless Chad is, digging at him terribly. And Kevin, every episode, now taunts Chad with steel toe references. Kevin will go, hey, what's our goal today, Chad? That's a steel toe reference. Mm -hmm. He'll go, uh, and then Ch Chad thinks it's a joke, and he'll repeat it 80 times thinking he's shitting on us. It's like, no, dude, no. you can't shit on us for something that we openly say this is what we do. Like, that that's not how making fun of people works. Oh, by the way, we keep hitting that goal, and so it's like, we're also okay. a, We're a week ahead of it, in case you were wondering, sweetheart. So then Kevin also will go, oh, uh, Chad, it's like camel toe. What do you think? Should we do four hours like camel toe does? Chad doesn't want to hear our name. Chad did two things wrong. He embarrassed himself by going the route he did. And then he didn't stop us from making fun of him. So he's failed on two fronts now. And now he's kind of fallen into this hopelessness situation. And Kevin Brennan is taunting him and poking him and prodding him with the hopelessness, bringing up steel toe. Well, in this next clip, Chad also hates Chrissy Mayer, Gino Bisconti, uh, hates... Uh, Cumulus people. Though. Hates Frank, hates all of these people. And uh, he's going to try and get Alex to jump in with him and talk shit about these other people. The problem is me, Gino, Chrissy, Alex, we've all done each other's shows. We like each other. Chad doesn't realize he's the odd man out here. And Alex is going to kind of clue him in on it. Also, notice that Chad has stopped talking shit about Steel Toe completely, stopped going live talking about Steel Toe completely. Mm -hmm. And now he's back to, I'm going to pretend he doesn't exist, and I'm going to change the subject anytime it comes up. Okay. I'm sorry, Chad. It's not going to work. We already got you. You're on the hook. You're our fish now. What can you do? Honestly, I don't think I'm going to let you forget us after the whole, like, the, the tweeting people's lives. Like, at yeah. stuff. You, you crossed a few lines, so I guess we're going to keep the... You we'll call it the start. Right. You f yeah, we'll call it the start, fatty. Um, yeah, you fucked up, and now you're my bitch. That's just how this whole game works. It's, uh, I'm, I'm Danny Glover in uh, Shooter. I win, you lose. 
again. Get used to it, son. So here's uh, Chad trying to, and everything that comes out of his mouth is just dripping with anger and failure and bitterness. Here's him trying to get the very jovial Alex Stein to go into the mud with Chad, where he sleeps. He wants al- him to be a mud shark. Where he sleeps alone every night on someone else's couch. We're gonna go sharking in the mud. Content house, and you even well, said it was douchey. Con- 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 I said it was a little cringe because I don't like being on camera for 24 hours. For yeah. me, it doesn't suit myself because I'm liable to drop an in bomb or whatever. Who knows? Way, I love that about Alex. He just comes I'm liable out. to drop an in bomb. He does not sound like someone who would drop an in bomb. I love that he just comes out like nobody just comes out and says that. Even your ballsiest comedians don't I go. I can't up. go 24 hours without an end bomb. Look, if you put a camera on me, I just might say the end bomb just to get it on camera to prove to people I ain't no bitch. I'll say what the fuck I want. You can base Alex Stein over here. Knows what the hell? It's just not. It's not. It's, for me, it's not conducive of the content that I like to create. So it's like, dude, I go and put cameras in politicians' faces. There's nothing more. I'm the king of cringe. I wear women's bathing suits and go to city council meetings, saying I'm the king of cringe. So when I call something cringe, it's not necessarily bad. And right. to be honest, people love watching cringe stuff. People love internet drama and cringe stuff. So but- Ch- Chad just tried to set him up. Like he hates Chrissy and he hates content. So Ch- hey, Ch- uh, it's just Alex. cringy. You hated it. You thought it was cringe, right? T- tell everyone how shitty Chrissy is. Like, he's throwing a temper tantrum because he wants people to be in on his beef. And Alex goes, oh, no, no, I'm the king of cringe. What I meant was they had camera on people all the time. Bubba got me on a hot mic. I, no, I have no problem with it. I thought those guys are great. I thought they're fun. I just don't like cameras being on me all the time because I might drop an N-bomb. I love watching cringe shit. I'm the king of cringe. Oh. And then he lists things that he's done that's right. cringy. So you can't even just be like, oh, dude, that's a little hypocritical for you to be like, oh, I hate cringe, but you do this shit. Like, no, I do cringe. I love cringe. It's great. So watching poor Chad. And this is, by the way, this is Chad's experience on Misery Loves Company all the time. It's just him trying to get something going and somebody smacking him down, making him feel shitty. I mean, I, I, I will say this. I am impressed with Chad Zumach in this regard. The man's ability... To take a punch and still beg to be on a show is remarkable. Most people have way too much dignity and class and honor and talent to be treated this way on a daily basis. Chad allows himself to be abused on a daily basis because he has such FOMO of not being on this program. And the unfortunate thing for Kevin is now he's stuck because he's got a talentless lump that everybody complains about and everybody dislikes. But he did find a way to get blood out of that stone. Exactly. So now he's trapped. He's got golden handcuffs on. He knows people are tuning in to hate Chad Zumach. If he gets rid of Chad, who he said is a psycho, is a problem, and he's going to shit on him in this clip too, he's going to lose viewers. Because the people who hate Chad are going to go away because it's mission accomplished. We got him off the show. Mm -hmm. Because that's what they want. They want him to leave. They'll watch until he leaves, but that's what they want ultimately. That, I mean, you know, the, the house, I don't know. It wasn't the greatest place in the world. It looked right, like a wait, terrible wait, hang. People, I, but the people were nice. I mean, to be honest. I mean, if we what were are you show, talking about? Nobody cares about Gino is gay. He does not. Gino's gay. Well, Gino was at the content house, and he's gay. Kevin was a little testy. His Bonely fan's girlfriend yeah. was there. And Alex, by the way, shoots down Kevin and Chad. And you can tell that Chad is trying to be angry to do like a Kevin impression to impress Kevin and get mm-hmm. back in his good graces. This is all very pathetic coming from a 50-year-old. You should have created your own thing by now. By the way, Chad, one note I got to... Yeah. That ring light with your sunglasses <laughs> makes it look like you're staring like this the whole well, time. Well, he can't show his eyes because then his co-host will know he's still drinking. I can't... Uh, like, oh. If he keeps wearing those sunglasses, they'll know he's still drinking. And by the way, he's abandoned the captain hat because he's... He's upset. It's upset him. I'm the how captain now. Yeah, it's upset him how much people tell him how cringe it is. He sits there and reads the chat all day during this show. I think he and would it's learn just that people he's not, shitting on him. Like, I mean, I read my chat and I have fun with it, but like, there, there's jokes in there. Like, right. you have fun with it. Like, if you're just getting mad, maybe don't do it. Right. Dude. It's not going to get better. Like, dummy, quit looking at the fucking chat. Just assume that it's all saying you suck. They'll pop the super chats up there to tell you you suck. You'll see them eventually. Just focus what little talent you have what little energy you have left for this business into providing a good product. So now Kevin's going to get mad at Alex and Alex is going to stand his ground. I think Alex Stein looks great in this clip. Lenny's nice. Look how he's doing. He's the new executive producer for The Daily Show. 
It's pretty good. He's pretty nice. good. What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? From day one, I said, if the first thing people say is that you're nice, you probably suck at comedy. Yes, That's but not everybody. One. Shut the fuck up. Everybody. That's rule number one. <laughs> If the Could you imagine being like, I like Kevin. I respect Kevin. He's put many years in the business. Mm -hmm. I just, it's, I mean, I hope it's a bit. I really do hope he's playing a character because to be that angry all the time doesn't sound like fun. And by the way, Kevin says happy, usually uh, happy, nice people aren't funny. Well, not every angry person is funny either. Angry can just make you an angry dick that nobody wants to be around. Or I mean, it can that make can you work funny. Too. It can make you very funny, but it doesn't. This idea that being nice cancels you out from being funny, or being mean makes you funny. No, he looks Th like the villain in Highlander Four. <laughs> <laughs> so Alex is having a tough time dealing with the psycho twins screaming at him. And right. Bob, I, this is why I love Bob's about just Bob. having a good old time. <laughs> Bob Levy is down here laughing his fucking balls off. The first thing they say about you, he's show. a nice guy. You suck at comedy. Yeah, this yes, is but we don't judge everybody by how well they are at comedy. Or I how do. They perform. In the comedy world, I do. Alex, the super chat right here. They got a hot mic on Bubba the Love Sponge, and you were shitting all over it. What? So now this is going to be great because Alex is going to uh, expose Chad here. Chad doesn't want to be the mud shark anymore. Chad doesn't want to go hard at Steel Toe anymore. When Chad hears Steel Toe now, because Kevin brings us up every show. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kevin. Misery Loves Company, great show. Check it out. Love to be a guest. Just He's going to... I already have been. It's wonderful. Yeah, I know. Kevin's a great guy. Keep rubbing your success in my Bob face. Bob Levy is wonderful, too. Able-bodied dick. So <laughs> they're going to bring up the Bubba hot mic thing, and Alex is going to talk nicely about us and Chad is going to skip right the fuck over it. Watch it. So Chad's abandoned the attack plan. And now Chad is going to just pretend. Here's what happened. It's what I said would happen. We annoyed him so much and we didn't go away. I was a pesky little fly. And now he's like, fuck, damn it. I got in too deep. Now I just have to ignore the guy again. And we're just don't still. get it. The rape threats didn't work. <laughs> I tried to threaten rape and they didn't, they didn't go away. Sorry, buddy. You're still fun to make fun of. I was shitting on, I shit on the content house and I shit on your favorite, Steel Toe, which I've kind of mended the fences with Steel Toe because they talked yeah. a little crap on me. They said, oh, Alex has jumped the shark. And this was months ago. And I had, you know, had a lot of viral You haven't even jumped the shark yet. That's what I'm saying. And I am going to jump it one day. I'm going to be on the tail end. But it's not yet. This roller coaster is still going up. Roger Stone just said I was the best. So Chad didn't stop him on the steel toe thing. Chad, he was like, oh, oh, fix my camera. Yeah, fix his camera. It's funny. You're right. I think he, you're my stash. I didn't notice that. He brought up steel toe. And then immediately and just backed away. Chad got really fidgety. It, it, for me, it's not conducive of the content that I like to create. It so it's like, dude, shaking. I go and put cameras in politicians' faces. Look at that. He's got the shakes going on and everything. Oh, do you think it's He's DTs? Fidgety. Fuck. Do you think he is trying to quit drinking and that's DTs? Like, that's... Could shakes? Be. I mean, I could see that. Fuck, that's brutal. I feel bad for the guy. Uh, let's go. Man, see. I love how he's copying your wardrobe choices now. He's wearing a Hulkamania <laughs> shirt. Yeah. You suck at comedy. Yeah, this yes, is but we don't judge everybody by how well they are at comedy. Or I how do. They watch, watch Chad start fidgeting once Alex brings up Steel Toe. In the comedy you world, do. I do. Alex, the super <laughs> chat right here. They got a hot mic on Bubba the Love Sponge, and you were shitting all over it. Well, I was shitting on, I shit on the content house and I shit on your favorite, Steel Toe, which I've kind of mended the fences with Steel Toe because they oh, talked a little lip. crap on me. Oh, the, said, lip, the lip quivering. Oh, Alex has jumped a shark and this was oh, the months ago going. and I had, you know, had a lot of viral. You haven't even jumped a shark yet. <laughs> That's what I'm saying and I am going to jump. The, mmm, mmm, mmm. That I'm is a, chew on my lip. That Taste chewing it. on the lip thing, by the way, that is a holding back hostility. That is a... Mm. You don't do that unless you're smearing chapstick. Or you're getting some dry lip or you, Or you're stressed as fuck. Jump it. One day, I'm going to be on the tail end. But it's not yet. This roller coaster is still going up. Roger Stone just said I was the best dress of 2022. I mean, I'm a pimp on a blimp at the moment. Now, will I have a downfall? Of course, we all do. I bet it. Stop it. Alex, I want you to stop that right now. And the I downfall's to, already begun. Uh, no, I talked to Alex about this in our interview. Stop being so goddamn agreeable to things that I say when I'm talking shit and don't even mean. <laughs> like I said, I think his man on the street stuff, he's nowhere near jump the shark on the man on the street shit. That's going to carry him for a long time. He's the new, he's better than Billy Eichner and that, all that gay shit he used to do. Alex Stein could be the next, like, not gay Billy Eichner. Like, not cringy, douchey, 
Yeah, Billy Eichner. What did, He's great at that man. What on the did Billy stuff. Eichner do other than that? I thought that like the cringy douchey part was the whole thing. That's what I'm saying. He's the uncringy. Alex is going to be the crin- uncringe. Undouchey man on the street. Guy. So you're, you're like saying he's the Dalmatian who has no spots. Dude, he sits there and he faces down AR 15s at a fucking protest. That the guy's got ballsy. balls. That is very ballsy. I would watch 10 of those before I'd watch one City Hall thing. Like he's, it's a compliment. He's bigger than that now. He's bigger and better. I want an Alex Stein podcast and I want Alex Stein man on the street shit where he's facing down, I mean, I'm not trying to get the guy killed or anything, but like... Change my mind. He's got bigger... I, Alex has bigger balls than people believe. They think he's just a wacky guy. They think Alex is just this, you know, wacky, happy-go-lucky dude. Alex doesn't give a fuck about his own safety. Alex doesn't give a shit. He's willing to get punched in the face, shot in the head, and all for what? A goof for your entertainment. I don't have well, that. he's also I don't making have a that point. Cheat. Yeah, he's also... yeah. The ultimate point he's going to make is when a progressive blows his head off and he's like, it's dying words. Wait, see, I told you they were violent. <laughs> and he dies with half his head blown off. Let's watch Chad continue to get mocked on his own show. His but own show. Not, yes, thank you. Roger Stone's a good guy. It's not even about, it's not even about Roger Stone. Down what's his dick taste dressed? like? What's Roger Stone's dick taste like? <laughs> Nothing. Better you know, than yours, you know, Kevin. He swings, because he, you know, he swings he's, that he's way. Nice. Yeah, well, he's the nice guy. He's, I'm saying he's a nice guy. Yes. Why he's is not it funny then? I like Chad. Chad's a nice guy. I don't like how no, Chad's he's not. Funny. <laughs> I like Chad. Chad's a nice guy. Wait a minute. If if they say you're a nice guy, right? You're not you funny. Can't good, you can't be good at comedy. So Alex is calling Chad not funny, but then immediately Kevin goes, "No." The most offended he's probably made Kevin during this entire interview is him saying Chad's a nice guy. No, he's not. No, he's not. I'm saying he's a nice guy. Yes. Why he's is not funny he then. I like Chad. Chad's a nice guy. I don't like how no, Chad's not. Like, Fuck crazy. you. <laughs> Alex, yeah, I was well, Chad's kind of nice to me. He's nice to me in, in person. It's not nice what he did to some people ripping him off, but he's pretty generally nice. <laughs> oh, beautiful. I'm turning the page on Alex today. So Alex calls Chad not funny. Okay. And then he mentions the credit card ripoff thing, which Chad hates. Beautiful. And Kevin goes, and all of this in 10 seconds, Kevin goes, he's not nice. Alex says, it's not nice you ripped off those people with the credit cards. And he gets called not funny. And you keep doing this show. This is only a, like a two-minute clip we've shown. And this is literally all of MLC. Whenever Chad opens his mouth, he's getting shit on. And I love it. There is, I will admit this. I will admit defeat to Kevin Brennan in mm-hmm. this regard. Nobody can humiliate Chad better than Kevin humiliates Chad. As bad as a number as I've done on, on Chad. Yeah, but he doesn't come here asking for right. it every time. As as much as I've buried Chad in the ground and stomped his fucking teeth out comedically, I have not been able to do what Kevin's done, which is bash the shit out of him on a show consistently and then have Chad keep begging to come back. To the point where when he's not on the show, he loses his fucking mind. And he's spinning around. I think half the reason that Kevin does all these shows is so Chad doesn't lose his fucking mind. Because Kevin's going to feel responsible for whatever this psycho does. I love it. This I really great. want Kevin to have me as a guest on his show and then not let Chad on. Just get a double. I did that. It's fun. Chad I know you did. I'm just saying, like, it would be even better because I'm, like, you know, the low-rent second mic guy, you know, who gives a shit about me. They're like, no, I'm still better than you, Chad. You know what else was great about it? If you go on their YouTube. Yeah. My shitting on Chad episode that I wouldn't let him in and Chad's response episode. I've got about 2,500 more views than he does. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. I beat him on his own show. I kicked Chad Zumach's ass on his own fucking show. I'll tell you this. Bob and Kevin didn't shit on me for two hours, Chad. We were equals having a fun show together. It must have hurt, buddy. Yes, I think I would say Bob's That's super nice. Now. Oh, That's why are you bringing up old shit? I'm not. I'm just saying. I think you're a nice guy. I'm just saying. I mean, Alex, you're a nice guy. You take all, Chad's not a nice guy. Second of all, you don't get it. If you're saying someone's nice, I saw Bobby Kelly said one time about Kumi. He goes, he's a nice guy. I go, no one ever says that about Kumi because they don't have to. Kumi is funny. So so, and he's not nice. He's proven that. So the point is that like. It's sad if the first thing they say about it is he's he's a nice guy. You know the guy's a shit comic. Oh. If they go, oh, he's a he's a nice guy. So he's kind of helping put it right in Chad's face. Like this yeah. is what we just said about you. Oh, that is well, fantastic. not we. He went back. 
I mean, it is just so great that Chad just got shit on for that whole two and a half minutes. And Chad just takes it. Has He has no alternative. He have, if he had anywhere else to go or anywhere else to stay at least slightly relevant in podcasting, he would be there. Because no man, no man, no real man with a set of fucking balls sits there and gets shit on that hard for two hours a day and has any dignity left. Why doesn't he just do his own show? I mean, all right, yeah. He does. He has a Patreon. It has 90 people. Dude, I don't... I don't and they're all that. at like the five, three or five dollar tier. I'm like, I'm like at like 70 or 80 subscribers on my YouTube yeah. alone. He's so, I mean. honest to God. And you know what? I would say half of those yeah. are people who just want to watch it to shit on him. So I have more fans... On a Pat- I'm on his fucking Patreon. I, I have more fans. We have more fans on our Patreon that want to listen to our show. And all it is is an audio version of our show. It's not extra content. Chad puts his whole livelihood, his whole, his whole career, his whole broadcasting career on his Patreon. And he cr- can't crack 400 bucks a month. Can't pay fucking groceries. Can't pay rent. With so he has like Patreon. a day job then, right? Like what do you... What are you doing to get the the bills paid? How are you going to keep yourself in, you know, libations and such? I'm guessing that Chad probably has to take money from family. I'm guessing that's probably how it goes. I mean, because he can't support himself. He doesn't make enough money. He just doesn't. He's probably um, Kyle Gass in the beginning of the Tenacious D movie. Remember where mommy's still sending him? I, oh, I, no, it's royalty checks. Yeah. yeah. I, I, you know, I helped, uh, helped write a little... Now, people are saying, or he uses someone else's credit card. See, I thought that was kind of hack, but I'll let you guys do it. Absolutely. The point is, he's not paying. Right. Uh, Gary Crouch says, oh, Kevin calling Chad a shit comic. Does he learn from it? No fucking way. He's too dumb. Yeah, they call him a shit comic on every episode. They call him, uh, you know, a a, a crazy person, a bad guy, a a guy you don't want to associate with on a daily basis, and he just sits there and takes it. It's brutal. Uh, um, Chad's family definitely helped stop, uh, stopped helping him months ago, says Farron. Uh, then, then I, then I shudder to think at what he's doing to try to make ends meet. He started a, a cameo and it's just him sitting in abandoned parking, sitting in an abandoned parking lot shouting. Yeah. Who really like, you know what would make my birthday is if someone got me a Chad Zuma cameo. I'm joking. Don't <laughs> good God. <laughs> Swear to Christ if I find one of those in my fucking email. Oh, that would be great. Uh, there's a lot of people. Uh, Chrissy Mayer says, Kevin and Chad don't even know who Roger Stone is. No. And then Kevin still got mad that uh, Alex called him a nice guy. He's, like, hey, he's a nice guy. Why would you call him nice? He's not a comic. But, um, yeah, watching Alex mention Steel Toe and watching Chad just start biting his bottom lip. He can't bite his upper lip. He's bit it off already. Sorry about that. Uh, watching him just bite his lip and just changing the subject, moving on. That's where he's at with Steel Toe now. I've changed my mind. I don't want to be on Misery Loves Company and Chad's Forbade. I want to be on it with Chad. I want to just be sitting there just a shitty grin. Hi. <laughs> I'll wear this shirt, too. Oh, so glad to be here. <laughs> yeah, just wear the Steel Just Toe kidding, shirt. LLC. I do a couple of podcasts. You may have heard of one. How you doing, Chad? KF says, going to get a Chad cameo, but he has to praise Steel Toe. Oh, God. Yeah, there you go, guys. Well, he's charging like 30 bucks for it. But will he do it? Will he take I mean, the money and do it? The only people I know he'll would, take the, the money. The only people who would give him 30 bucks for a cameo are our fans who would do it to shit on him. Yeah, they would part with it because they're like, I want to make you do this. <laughs> guys, I have an idea. Oh, shit. Cameo.com. <laughs> Hold on a second. We're going to help uh, our friend Chad. We're going to help. You know what? I'm going to I'm fuck a fan it. of Chad. Let's raise those numbers. I'm a fan of Chad. I'm going to help this fucking guy. Oh, I got to talk to you about that, too. I got a shirt idea. I'm, I'm going to help this man. Here we go. Ready? Guys, if you want to, there's a Chad Zumok cameo. Buy them. Make him praise Steel Toe or Chrissy or Gino. There we go. That would be a fun one. Wait a minute. He's calling now, himself Florida's greatest. Yeah, he's been doing that for a while. It's look. What do you, look, you got to give the guy some leeway. It's fucking over. All yeah. Right? Let but him I, live in his delusions. 
Yeah, but like you're sleeping on someone's couch. You're not getting booked regularly. Florida's greatest. Wow, that's not oh, even. No. A- you see what that number is next to how many reviews? That means how many cameos you've done because people re- give you a nice review after your cameo. Mm-hmm. Or they give you a bad review after yeah. your cameo. Yeah, like, they give you something. They He's got zero. I paid 30 bucks, but I can't be bothered to tell you how you did. Right. He's got zero cameos. And you know what? This is the, the sad tragedy of Chad. If you bring that up to him, he'd go, well, I'm not even trying. That's his excuse for everything. Yeah, I'm it's not like, even trying either. That's why you can't find me on cameo. Yeah, maybe we should try. Maybe for the new year, you stop drinking and you try. You get rid of the shakes and you try. Maybe that could be next. No? No? Just a little. Just a little bit of effort. A modicum of effort. That's it. We tried. Look how far you got with nothing. Imagine if you tried. Yes, exactly. So, guys, we've got uh, we got Chad Zumok's cameo. There it is. Uh, Chad's cameo. It's a shame that he has no more no work on there. Like... This is what will launch him. Buy him, a ca- buy him a cameo. Make him say nice things about Steel Toe or Chrissy or Gino. Now, if he doesn't do it to your satisfaction, you can charge it back. Oh, nice. So you can do it, and then you can report it to cameo, and you can go, hey, he didn't do what I asked. I want my money back. I'm okay. I, I think that's what you guys I should I think do. that's fair. If, if you have a simple request, just say something nice about Steel Toe. Oh, and he's being a dick. That's no, no. not what you asked for. Uh, Matthew says, serious Opie energy from the Z-Man. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say Opie's better than Chad. Opie got somewhere. Opie just fell really hard. Chad did, started at the bottom, and he's there. Did Opie get somewhere, or did he get the right person in a room and kind of stayed in that room with that person? I mean, yeah, but that's... I mean, he went there. I mean, so, there. like, Chad. Chad's trying to do that in more of a, like, Eliza Parent. Jordan way. Paras- it's more parasitic, but yeah. when you're a parasite, you have to be parasitic. It's not his fault. That's just what he is. Uh, Farron says, oh, I'm so fucking buying a cameo. Well, there you go, guys. Let's see if we can get those. Uh, let's see if we can get Chad Zumok a few bucks. And he sh- I would like a thank you, just like Opie. I would like a thank you for helping to pay your rent, for helping to pay your bills, for helping to keep you off the streets, Chad. After all the terrible things you've said, I'm still here willing to keep you Supporting off the streets you. because I care. I care. 